Good evening, everybody. First off, let me apologize for what's probably going to be, for what's probably going to be a washy washy video. <laughs> it's pretty late at night, and I have a lot of stuff to pack for the Philippines. But I wanted to go through some of the purchases I got while in America. I wanted to get some different gear. I said I wanted a Joe Rocket jacket and I thought Joe Rocket gloves and stuff like that. I thought I wanted a Joe Rocket helmet, but it doesn't have sunglasses and the LS2 fit me better for, for what I was looking for in a helmet. I did order some gear. I don't know much about gloves, so don't take this as some tech talk thing. I'm gonna open up the gloves I got and give my opinion on them. The first ones I got are the Joe Rocket Velocity 2. My bike is white, and I wanted to get a white pair of gloves to go along with it. I really wanted fingerless gloves, but they didn't have those. Oh, that's neat. They got a little clip. Take them out, check them, and still put them on the hanger. Here are the Velocity gloves. These are only like $22.50 on Amazon. At that price, I'm not going to expect a lot out of them. Much better quality than I expected, and they feel pretty good. My plan is to cut the fingers off of these. Whether I do that or not, we'll see, but probably gonna cut the fingers off. Be nice if they had a white set with carbon fiber here, but they don't. Other than that, they seem pretty legit. Next up, I got a pair of the Joe Rocket Black Eclipse gloves. Same packaging, same clip style. Oh, these feel nice. These were about $22 on Amazon. I think they're pretty much the same as the others. A little bit different. Ah, a bit tighter. All the sizes I got are large. Yeah, these fingers feel a lot, feel a little, ah, there's room in the fingers, but they feel a little bit squished in there, I guess. Mind you, these are brand new gloves, and I was told that you want them to fit a little bit tight, and they'll break into your hands. Leather bottoms, and it's padded on the hands. I don't know if those old ones were or not. No, these had like a, these ones had like a cloth bottom. And they weren't so they're not padded these ones have a padding in the palm and it's leather kind of comfortable too not bad designs a little bit different on these ones ah that leather smells good <laughs> something about brand new leather okay definitely no doubt about it worth the money both pairs of these so far. I don't know how you do reviews on gloves. <laughs> I'm just giving my like instant opinion on it, I guess. So far, so good. What do we have next? Now we're gonna move up a little bit in price on them. <laughs> don't ask how many pairs I got. <laughs> the Joe Rocket Speedway gloves. Oh, yeah, you can feel a difference in these. You can see a difference with all the stitching and everything in the palm of the hand. But they're a little bit tighter. Like I said, I'm sure that's going to wear in. That's what I like, the carbon fiber knuckles. And it re comes up a little bit further than all the others. These ones are a little bit over $40 in full leather. Feel pretty premium. Oh, I'd have that new leather smell. <laughs> are they padded on the palm? This is not leather right here. I don't know if that's like a scratch guard or what. No, I don't really feel any padding inside the bottom of these hands. But they do have a double layer of something on there. I like these. This one looks great. See the holes in it? This one looks like their drill bit went bad while they were cutting the holes. Other than that, I really like them. A lot more stitching and detail in these. Next up, I got the Joe Rocket Cafe Racers. Oh, the bag's a little bit nicer on these. The other said made in China. This one says made in Indonesia. Getting into these, these ones have a zipper. Ooh, full leather and they have a padded palm. Thin pad, but it's still padded. Oh yeah. Smells different than the others. I guess this is a better leather. Wow, these are a lot more comfortable right off the bat. Padded knuckles. Other than some padding, there's no hard protection in these ones. The first two had a rubber piece. Third one had carbon fiber, and this one is just thick padding. But I like these. <laughs> Cafe racer style. Says rocket on the bottom of the hands. These are pretty nice. About $55.
Okay, that's it. No more Joe Rocket gloves. But, I got some Alpine Stars. SP-2s is what the model number is on this. They're packaged a little bit more premium, but I guess they should be for $75. Carbon fiber knuckles. One goal, whatever that is. <laughs> I guess that's a scuff pad for the palm. Oh, these are tight. Ah, Joe Rockets fit a lot looser. Oh, but they're not bad. Once these break in, I bet these are really comfortable. They're a little bit tighter, but they move pretty good. I guess that on the tip of the fingers for touchscreen. These things are made in like layers. I can smell it from here. And they have some more design stitched in. It's made to have this wrinkle here. Fingers are connected. I've heard of that before. I think that's to stop you from dislocating your fingers on a crash. So this is the first set with that. Not bad, not bad. It's curious what the premium gloves feel like. I guess $75 is not like top of the line, but it's definitely not cheap. 1.30 in the morning and my phone just keeps going off. And the last set of motorcycle gloves I have are the Shimas. This one also has a thick padding here, leather palms, thick pad. Fingers are not attached. I'm like in handcuffs right now. So they do have a hard knuckle protection. Ah, it's also got, this is the first set I've seen that has it on the fingers too, or that I noticed anyway. So it has extra protection on your fingers. Pretty comfortable. I don't expect any of them to be super comfortable being brand new. The more you wear them, the better they feel. That's how my old set was. That was it on the motorcycle gloves, but I got one more pair. I had these in the other video real quick, and when I tried them on, they really impressed me. These are not motorcycle gloves. They are tactical gloves, and I got these for playing airsoft. I don't like the wrist thing that goes all the way around, but I can deal with it because these things feel really premium. It's not a carbon fiber knuckle, but it's got some kind of design to it, and it looks pretty good in person. It does have like a rubber protection on the palms. No, it's not rubber, what is that? It's an extra layer of protection on the palms. Knuckle protection, fingerless. I think you'll see me using these on the bike. If you're looking for some fingerless motorcycle gloves for $17, these are pretty freaking nice. I would definitely recommend them. I just wish they didn't have this long wrist strap. I will put Amazon links to all this stuff in the description below. I'm curious to hear what you guys got to say about the gloves. So leave a comment, let me know what your favorites are. For me, my favorite looking are these Mega Flow Joe Rockets. I really like the carbon fiber knuckles, the style of them and they're pretty premium feeling. Best for comfort, I think. The ones that feel the best put together, best quality, it's the Joe Rocket Cafe Racers. These are really comfortable and a solid quality. So if I had to pick one set of gloves, as nice as these are, I would go with these because I like the carbon fiber style and they still feel like good quality. These feel the best in the bunch to me. Of course the Alpine Stars had some more features that the others didn't. Being the most expensive you would expect that. Even then I'd rather roll these ones.